So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what we do with the hour angle, um, because it's it's not something that that we really uh, ever used before in in regular everyday language, right? But because so many of our mathematical calculations are in terms of angles, remember, angles are coordinates in uh, in the solar reference in the solar frame of reference. So when we normally have you know 24 hour time we need to convert that time into something on the order of uh, 360 degrees or in our case minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees right and so we're going to figure out a way to convert 24 hours of time to degrees and those degrees are going to be uh, found as the hour angle, right? So um, time is going to be in terms of decimal hours. So time in decimal hours. And we're going to make sure that we do that in a 24-hour time frame so that if I were talking about 1.30 in in the uh, morning, I would represent this as 1.5, right? If I wanted 1.30 in the afternoon, based on the 24-hour system, that would be 13.5, right? Okay, so we have that understood. So in order to get the hour angle of time, right? Well, we're going to start with time is going to be the hour angle times the conversion of one hour per 15 degrees of rotation of the Earth, right? So that's going to give me my decimal hours. So we'll multiply it in there such that if I wanted to have the hour angle, I would have time times 15 degrees per one hour, in which case my time is in hours. The units of hours would cancel out, and I'd be left with a uh, units of degrees, right? Now, the one of the things that you're going to find in your problems is is uh, the calculation of day length and it, the day length in the textbook is shown by calculating the hour angle of the sunset and we do sunset because it's a positive angular value basically if I were to here let me do a quick diagram if I were to put noon Right, 12 o'clock 12 noon here, any time before noon would be negative, any time after noon would be positive. So this is where I have my negative 180 degrees going into the morning, you're looking back before noon, so you have negative degrees going into the afternoon, you're going after 12, so you're adding degrees, and so it's positive. So I have a positive value for the sunset, oops, right? Um, and so if I wanted to calculate the sunset, um, we find that I need to calculate the arc cosine or the inverse cosine of the negative tangent of the declination times the tangent of the latitude, B. Okay, and I might have uh, switched these two guys around in the textbook, but it, you're going to get the same answer. So that will give me the time of sunset and the or the hour angle of sunset. And the hour angle of sunrise is going to be the negative of the sunset. And then the last part that you're looking for, hours in a day, right, is going to be two times because the sunset hour angle times the conversion of one hour per 15 degrees that's going to give you the number of hours 
in the day. And you're going to want that uh, for one of your answers as well. Okay.